Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. In day seven, we will learn about the array data structure, or in Python, lists. Given an array A of n integers, print the elements in reverse order separated by spaces. The input will be two lines. The first line is an integer n representing the length of array A. The second line will be the n space separated integers describing array A's elements. And the output will be the array A in reverse order as a single line of space separated numbers. Let's look at the sample input. The first line is 4, representing the size of the array A, which we will read in next. The second line are the elements of array A, 1, 4, 3, and 2. Our sample output should be the elements of array A reversed, so 2, 3, 4, and 1. Now there are a bunch of ways we could solve this problem. We could write a for loop that iterates over the elements of A in reverse by printing out each one. We could swap all the elements of array A in the input array we create and then print that out. There's even a method built into Python called reverse that reverses a list that we could use. But to help familiarize you with the array data structure, I'm going to show you how to create a list in Python, which is the same as an array in Java, and append elements to that list. Now that we understand the problem and know our approach, let's dive into the code. HackerRank has already helped us out by reading the input into the n and r variables. The n variable holds the size of the r array. So what we'll do is make our new list and call it reversed array. We will loop over all the elements of r in reverse order, then add them to our reversed array list. So what we are doing here is we're going from 0 to n, where n is the size of the array r, and adding the n minus i minus 1 index of r to the reversed array. So we're starting at the back of r. And so for this example, i will equal 0 at the beginning, n will equal 4. And so we'll do 4 minus 0 minus 1 because this last index in array A is actually index 3. So we start at index 3 and append it to our reversed array. So then the first element in reversed array is going to be 2. Then i increases to 1. So 4 minus 1 minus 1 is 2. And the index for 2 is uh, here with element 3. And we'll add that to our reversed array. And we'll continue doing this until we exhaust the array, at which point all the elements of array A will be added to the reversed array. Then we will loop over the elements in the reversed array to create our output stream. For each element, we will add to the output, then add a space after. We'll start with an empty string. Then for every element in reversed array, we're going to add it to the output string, then add a space after. So there'll always be a space between every element. Finally, we're going to print our output string. Let's test our code. Cool, so we passed the test case. Now let me just show you a quick little trick to make this part a lot simpler. So you saw in line seven, uh, HackerRank is using this strip method to split a string into a list. Well, there's an opposite method that combines a list into a string. It's called the join method, and it can get rid of all five of these lines. All we have to do is print a string that joins the elements of the reversed array. So here we're using the join method to join the elements of the reversed array with a space. So let's test it. Great, it passed. Let's submit our code and see how we did. 
Awesome, we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed yesterday's video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full HackerRank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.